Welcome to Planet's second Bid Center tutorial, Bid Center Pricing. The pricing information for the many items you need to incorporate in your job costings can be added into Cabinet Vision in a variety of areas. The areas will vary depending on the level of solid you are using and they may include the catalogue setups, in the material manager, door catalogues and door matrices, material schedules, part or profile catalogues and even the objects catalogues or even in the bid centre itself, in the rate tables, options, add-ons, labour schemes and report setup. Firstly, let's go through the pricing options in the various catalogue setups. In the Material Manager, on the properties of each material, you have the option to apply pricing and percentages to that material. Typically, you will enter a default cost, being the cost you pay for the material, and make an allowance for waste in the Waste Percentage field. You must also ensure you select the Estimate option if you wish for this material to be included in your bid reports. All pricing entered here in the Material Manager is retrieved in your rate tables by using the Percentage of Material Cost bid method. Pricing information can also be added in the Door Catalogue. On the General Info tab of each door in the Door Catalogue, you have the option to apply pricing to that door style, either as a set amount per door or a price per square metre. These can be in addition to the material cost for that door. On the Profiles tab of each door, you have the option to apply pricing when a selected profile is used on that particular door style. Every door or drawer front must have at least one material schedule assigned to it. The material cost associated with each selected material schedule is set up in the door material schedules, but it is also displayed and can be edited here. Add per door will simply add an amount as a flat rate per door. Add per square metre will multiply the entered amount by the total area of the door. The minimum cost allows you to set a minimum door cost for the door when using a particular material schedule. Note that the total door cost is the door pricing plus the material pricing plus any profile prices that have been added. This minimum cost value is only for the material cost portion. So if the material add per door and the material add per square metre is less than the minimum cost, the program will use the amount in minimum cost for the material cost and the door and profile cost will still be added. Any pricing entered in the door catalogue or the door material schedules will be retrieved in the bid centre when using the use door catalogue pricing bid method. The door material schedules also have additional pricing features. Buyout is used for doors that are subcontracted and you will need to set up door matrices in this instance. Drawbox and rollout schedules also have this option. Selecting the banding or laminate options will also retrieve the material applied to that part in the material schedule and therefore apply any pricing that has been set up on that material. All other material schedules have an optional upcharge field. A percentage should only be added here when you wish to charge an additional amount to your standard catalogue pricing. Any percentages entered here will be retrieved in the bid centre by using the Use Part Catalogue Pricing bid method. You can also set up pricing in a door matrix. This feature is only available in certain levels of solid, such as Solid Drafter, Advanced and Ultimate. See the door matrix tutorial for details on how to create matrices. Once they have been set up, you can select the door matrix in the door catalogue on the door materials tab. Any other door pricing you have set up for that door style will be added to the matrix price. The part catalogue editor also gives you the option to customise pricing information. It allows you to set pricing information directly on parts if you wish to price this way. Labour setup allows for a minute value to be entered concerning the time you will allow to manufacture the selected part. The labour setup value will only occur within the job once for that part type. Labour each allows for a minute value to be entered concerning the time that you will allow to manufacture the selected part and this value occurs for each part within the job. Price allows you to establish pricing for the selected part. You can type a fixed price or select one of the predefined calculation methods from the drop down menu once you click in this field. You can also utilise math to create your own custom price equation. You can use the Addition, Subtraction, Multiplication and Division tools to do this. The formula will be validated by moving to another field. The Matrix column allows you to select a price matrix to use for this part, providing there have been matrices set up to choose from. 
The price matrix feature allows you to establish standard part sizes along with a fixed price or pricing formulas for each size combination that you offer for your parts. In addition to entering pricing in each cell according to the size combinations of the matrix, there are two additional options here. Default formula allows you to enter a price or pricing formula to be used for any cells left blank within the selected price matrix. The no match formula allows you to enter a price or pricing formula to be used for the selected price matrix if a size match is not found. The profile catalog allows you to create or import all profiles with the exception of door profiles. These are created in the door catalog. The prices entered here are retrieved in the bid centre by using the Use Profile Catalog Pricing bid method. Cost per job allows you to set a cost per job for the selected profile. Cost per strip allows you to set a cost per strip for the selected profile. A strip is determined by how the moulding is designed in your layout. Each separately connected run, including any returns, is considered one strip. The Cost per metre option allows you to set a cost per metre for the selected profile. Finally, the last catalogue where you can set up pricing is the Objects catalogue. When you are in a room, the object library will appear in the sidebar to the left of the screen, and it is only active if there have been walls drawn in your room. Within your Objects catalogue, you will have numerous items such as cabinets and accessories for example. You may have the ability to apply pricing information to these, depending on the level of solid you are using. In the Assembly properties of a cabinet on the General tab, you can apply a fixed price for the cabinet. This price is retrieved in the bid centre automatically under the Custom Cabinets list, but it can also be retrieved in the rate tables by using the Use Assembly Catalog Pricing bid method. The Labour in Minutes is used to set an assembly labour value. This value is retrieved in the bid centre by using the Per Hour of Assembly Labour bid method in the rate tables. Remember, changes made here are attached as permanent overrides on that cabinet, which means that if you save the cabinet back into your catalogue, these overrides will also be saved with it. Non-graphic accessories can also be saved into your catalogues and placed in a room to price extras in that room which you do not want to see a graphic for. This can be helpful for items such as bins or other special fittings. Right-click in the blank space in the sidebar of your catalogue and select Add Accessory. On the properties of the accessory, you can add a fixed price which is retrieved in the bid centre automatically under the custom cabinets list. You can add a labour in minutes value which is retrieved in the bid centre by using the per hour of accessory labour bid method in the rate tables. And you can also add an upcharge percentage. The upcharge will only work here when the non-graphic accessory is dragged directly onto an assembly and is therefore considered a part of that specific cabinet. The upcharge percentage will then be added to that specific cabinet cost, not the price of the non-graphic accessory. No bid method needs to be used in the rate tables to retrieve this value. It will be retrieved automatically and calculated according to the fixed cabinet price. You can also apply a labour in minutes value to appliances or objects such as furnishings and the value is retrieved in the bid centre by using the per hour of accessory labour bid method. Now, let's go through the pricing options in the bid centre setup itself. The rate tables are used to retrieve most of the pricing values added in Cabinet Vision. Each rate table will need to contain at least one, if not a combination of, bid methods. Bid methods are the various ways in which you decide to price particular items in your job. Labour schemes are designed to assist you in developing your labour costs. They can be accessed when you are in the bid centre from your view mode. Labour schemes are only available in some levels of solid. Once you have created a labour scheme, you can recall it as a bid method in any of your rate tables. See the rate table tutorial for more details on rate tables, bid methods and labour schemes. Additionally, there are opportunities within the bid centre tools where you can enter pricing information. These tools here will vary depending on the level of solid you are using. Add-ons allow you to select bid methods to price additions for a specific job. Add-ons will be temporarily applied to the current job unless you click the Set a System Defaults button. Also, the Totals tab in the Options tool has several choices regarding pricing. Default Deposit Percentage allows you to set the percentage of deposit you require your customers to pay for the job. Default Markup Percentage allows you to set the default markup percentage for your jobs. 
Included draw fronts in door counts comes into play if you are using the per door bid method and should be selected if you want draw fronts to be treated as doors. Include false fronts in door count is used exactly the same way regarding false fronts being counted as doors when you are using the per door bid method. Price fillers as assemblies will include fillers in calculations for lineal meter and per cabinet bid methods. Price detached toe kicks as assemblies will also include detached toes in calculations for lineal meter and per cabinet bid methods. Lineal total for corner cabinets is width plus depth should be selected if you calculate your lineal totals for corner cabinets this way. Include doors, drawers and hardware in par count will come into play when you're using the per part bid method. And the estimate sheets of material option enables the bid centre to use the results of a generic panel optimization to estimate sheet usage rather than area. On the sidebar, the deposit area is used to calculate the deposit required for the current bid. Simply click on the calculator button and the deposit will be calculated based on the deposit percent specified in the options totals tab. When you are viewing your bid breakdown in internal mode, a markup slide indicator becomes available on the sidebar below the deposit option. The slide indicator allows you to manually add an additional markup to the job. Finally, in the bid report setup, there are templates available for you to customise to display your job information and costings in your preferred way. The bid reports are generally used when you intend on printing a hard copy of your bid, for either internal use or for presentation to your clients. The reports can be accessed for viewing or editing when you are in the bid centre by selecting the report tab from the sidebar. Once you are in report view, you can change the report mode between view mode and setup mode. View mode will display your bid complete with values and information that has been calculated. Setup mode will display the configuration of the report, otherwise known as your bid design. Instead of showing you values, you will see a combination of text and variables. This is the basis of how your report will ultimately be shown in view mode. When in setup mode, you can type any text you want to be displayed on your report. You can use the text formatting tools to customise the look of your report and you can even paste images onto your report setup which is helpful if you wish to display your company logo. You can also use the tools on the ribbon bar to create new, copy or delete reports. Here you will also notice a list of report variables in the sidebar that you can use to customise your report. This list includes predefined variables, you cannot create your own. You simply place your cursor on your template in the position you want to add the variable and then double click on the variable in the sidebar to enter it into your layout. Although the report setup generally focuses on the format and the design of the bid report, it can also be used to display additional pricing information using the X percentage of total variable. A practical example for using this variable is to show and or apply the GST component of an entire job. Rather than adding the 10% GST individually to each item in the rate tables or by using the tax fields throughout cab division, you can use this variable here. Just replace X with a value of 10 to show 10% only is the GST component. Alternatively, you could replace X with a value of 110, which will show the total amount including the 10% GST. I hope you have found this bid centre pricing tutorial informative. Thank you for watching.